how is everyone doing? Hope everyone is doing well. It's a new day. A brand new day. Another day of the greatest show on earth. A day where you could have a European team eliminated. But let's see. But in this video in particular, I want to talk to you about somebody who is in top form. I know immediately, as you see the title and as I, as the title was, was written, the first thing I thought about was Masika's song, top form, top form, top form. Trust me, it's catchy. It's really, really catchy. So, <laughs> so, Marla Sweatman. She's been a national player for 10 years. She represented Jamaica at the CONCACAF on the 20 championship, which was hosted, I believe, in Panama. Yeah, it was in Panama. That was a tournament where Bonnie made her debut at 15 years old for Jamaica. That was the under 20 championship. Marla Swipman played in those games for Jamaica. Played Haiti in that tournament as well. Played Mexico. Big teams. Marlo eventually went on to represent Jamaica at the senior level a couple of years later. Was a member, part of our squad at the World Cup. Now, in midfield, she is an outstanding distributor of the ball. Outstanding. And I can just briefly share as it relates to where you are in midfield. So, for example, when you're playing at central defense or playing at holding midfield, you have a little bit more time to make a decision. But when you're in that number 10 position, that attacking midfield position, it is high speed traffic. It is tremendously tough because you are surrounded by the holding midfielders of the opposition, center halves of the opposition, and quite possibly even the fullbacks as well, depending on their shape. So this is one of the most toughest positions to play on the field, quite frankly. And since being switched to that number 10 position, Marla Sweatman has absolutely flourished. Absolutely flourished. Six goals, five appearances. Now that's six goals, three assists in 12 appearances for her club in Hungary as they enter the break. This is somebody that has worked tremendously hard, tremendously hard to regain top fitness, good form, improve decision making, and in addition to that, help her team thrive. This is brilliant. And these are the sort of things that needs to be highlighted. These are the sort of things that can put and give headaches to the coaching staff for selection for next year. When you're bearing in mind, we have the Nations League in Australia for the women, and also the World Cup as well, later in the calendar year, the Pan Am Games as well, and the Olympic qualifiers. 2023 in itself is a busy year. 2023 in itself is tremendously busy. Very, very much so. This is a year where so much things can happen. Can you believe that? So, let's just bear that in mind. And for a player of Marlowe's calibre and ability, yep, she deserves it. She deserved that opportunity. I believe come February, I know this. The, there's a winter break right now, but I'm confident that once she can maintain that intensity with performances, and all be well. And I'm not saying that she has to play that number 10 role for Jamaica. I'm not saying that that is a position that she has to. But being in midfield, that aggressor, that distributor of the ball, brilliant. I know for a fact that the decision making has improved. I can tell you that as it relates to the time between collecting the ball from the defense, turning and giving it to the front three or another midfielder 
has significantly improved. So that in itself is reason for optimism and reason to be content. This is an outstanding player. A great player who is doing some outstanding things as well. And to all our girls that are in Hungary as well. You know, we even had Alika Keen last season who was part of the, the cup win with Tiffany Cameron as well. So it's a good look. It really is. And I'm grateful to see the work that has been done. We saw Marlow in the the qualifiers at Sabina Park. So for the games against the Dominican Republic and the Cayman Islands, she took the field against DR. I spoke with her after the game and she told me that she was doing some work, you know. So I was even saying, what did I say again? Well, basically, I think I was gonna get Starbucks and she said she missed have his she was saying that she's she's putting out a conscious effort not to have any of that and everything like that. So discipline and everything, brilliant, brilliant. So and when you look at the midfield options, not only does Marlo add depth, but you're talking about somebody that can contend as well. So next year, 2023. A compelling year. The only thing FIFA has yet to let us know at this point in time is if, for an example, the squads will be a 26-member squad like with what we've seen at the men's tournament right now, or if it will be a 23-member squad. If it is going to be a 26-member squad, then 26 definitely take the plane and fly over to Australia, and I think you'll have four non-traveling reserves. And those four non-traveling reserves will stay put in case there are any injuries to the squad at the tournament itself. So as it relates to the World Cup itself, that is what I know about at this point in time. But yeah, Marla Swetman, up and running, six goals, three assists, 12 appearances. Marla, I know you're watching. Keep up the great work. People are watching week in, week out. I know of the, the amazing job that you're doing. And trust me, everything that is good and pleasing to you, you deserve it. You deserve it. Trust me. The time, the energy, the strength that you put in to get where you are right now and in relates to your form, it's good. The only thing needed now is to ensure that that consistency is there. And once that consistency is there, everything else will fall into place. I'm fully confident about that. Alright guys, have a wonderful day. Take care. More to come. And a special what's the deal to come. Alright guys, cool.